like to place on record we have asked representatives of the Karnataka government they have chosen not to come the Karnataka government representatives have chosen not to come on the news hour KJ Alphonse former IS officer now with the BJP Sumera Abdulali social activist she's been attacked herself twice and knows what it is to be threatened physically in a case like this G uh, Ganesh Kondunya who's a social activist from Bangalore tonight Dr PR Dubashi, former IS officer, live from Pune. Ganesha, first would like to ask you, uh, what was the officer in this case, Mahantesh, aware of that he could have potentially become a threat? So much so that he was killed. This Mahantesh is the deputy director of cooperative audit in charge of the audit department wherein he was, holding all the, he was holding all the documents of many cooperative societies. In Bangalore, what has happened is basically the house building cooperative societies have been uh, violating literally every laws on the earth completely and the scam goes beyond 2G. That is what we have got the documents and it is about more than 3 lakh crores as per the documents we have pertaining to few societies, not all societies. So the figures goes beyond that and he was holding such documents of the audit report which indicates all these illegalities. One thing is that what Mahantesh would have tried to attempt to do is that in the, all these audit report it was not mentioned specifically that these are all illegalities and there is a violation of law. So when we have approached him for documents and everything he was really cooperating with us while giving the documents he is to mention why these things are not very clearly mentioned in the audit report that it is not illegal. So was he attempting to make in the audit report that a specific thing? Uh, so uh, he you know, was... Like he every was, action of these societies is was, illegality. G Ganesh, he was giving you the material? Pardon? He was giving you the material as well? Yeah, very well. Like uh, we have approached through different people and uh, the same department and he was cooperating in providing all the necessary documents for us to really unearth the scam. Was he doing anything? Through the, these documents... Why, was, the, he, why was he doing this, in your view? What was, what was making him come out basically, with these documents? Basically, you know, like he is an officer. No, basically he is an upright officer who wants the scam to come out so that, you know, the, uh, uh, like it's a common belief of all of us like-minded people that the real estate prices in Bangalore have gone up sky high mainly because of this house building cooperative that is operating wherein like BDA and housing board has become totally inactive. B when BDA and housing board don't have any land to occur, these house building cooperative societies have around 7,500 acres of agriculture land being purchased illegally, which has all been converted and made into layouts. And it is all... And, and I don't want you, I don't want you to necessarily take names. For. I don't want to necessarily take names. I like to place on record that, that Ganesh in the past has also given Times Now material which we have used to do stories. That's not necessarily the yes. material which you have given us material as well. Ganesh, I'd like to, I'd like to put that on record. Or that not, not necessarily material you got in turn from Mahantesh. But the fact is that whistleblowers like Ganesh, who's on news hour tonight, they operate because of honest people in the system like Mahantesh, who are so angry with the rot in the system, Sumera, and I'd like to come to you on this, that they feel compelled to come out and give the material so that the media picks up the story and then there is sort of a pressure to act. You think this man has been silenced? Do you think the government's doing enough? I think the media is one last hope which all whistleblowers still have that at least things can come out in the open and be talked about. And definitely there are officers in the government who are as conscientious citizens as any activist or any other whistleblower. And they burn like, like other citizens burn to see what is happening in an organized manner, how information is being suppressed in a lot of cases, how uh, things are going wrong, how people are being attacked who bring these things to their notice. And this is you were attacked twice and you came close to death twice in 2004 and 2010. Uh, the first time I didn't come close to death, but yes, I was attacked and I was in hospital as a result of the attack. The second time they tried to push me over and kill me, so I did come close to death. But apart from my own experience, I find that this is becoming more and more systematic. It is happening across all states. Every political party is pushing the burden on to somebody else. 
Nobody wants to own up and Nobody we are taking to. it for granted. And, and uh, I just want to say on record, the one thing that I find common across all political parties and all interests here is corruption. You know, and, and in this particular case, as, as uh, Mahantesh's case, uh, I'd also like to share with our viewers that people across political parties, across all bureaucracies would have been affected, right, Ganesh? If the truth, which, if, if all, the, all the interests who Mahantesh was hitting out against were to be put out, they spanned across all political parties, right, Ganesh? Everyone across the spectrum. Exactly. Like, uh, ev everyone, literally, not only political parties, even prominent people. For example, if it is these documents which revealed Shivraj Patel getting a site being a justice and ex Lokoikta, it is through this that we tracked down and got the documents. So it is not only political but parties, a lot at, of developers, yeah. powerful real estate people. At this point, I'd like to say here that... And even we, the judges we, have been exposed. Sure. Everyone, you know, there has been an overall exposure. So there are people across the board. And on this channel, certainly you cannot link anything to anything right now. The only broad point which is being made is that this is an honest man who has been killed because he was obviously hitting out at certain interests. My question to Mr. Alphonse... Mr. Alphonse, you're in the BJP now and your party is in power in Karnataka and they're doing absolutely nothing. What do you think they should be doing? Well, I guess this is extremely unfortunate. It's very sad that an honest, honest officer has lost his life who was a fighter. Uh, I really think the government should um, investigate, which they are doing, and they should catch hold of the people as early as possible which is what they should be doing, obviously. But they are doing nothing. Not only are they doing nothing, they are turning a blind eye. And they expect us, Mr. Alphonse, to accept a ridiculous explanation such as CCTV cameras are missing and there is no eyewitness. I mean, when you are investigating a crime, right, you look at the motive, you look at the people who uh, could have been affected, things which will... you look, then you look at the person who was fighting for the truth. You draw a link. There is no attempt at obviously, drawing a link right now. Why? Why, so is the, he, why is the BJP government even avoiding see, coming on the he news was article? A blower, he was trying to expose corruption and uh, it's, it's extremely unfortunate that um, they got him. I mean, this happens every time. All across India, honest people are being targeted. In fact, I, I don't know whether you remember, uh, my wife was beaten up and almost left for dead in 1994 when I was commissioner DDA. I mean, it's just a miracle that she's alive. It's just a miracle that I'm alive. To be alive is a huge miracle in this country for honest officers. So it's just not in Karnataka. Across the country, honest officers who try to take on the might of these gangs. And these gangs include almost everybody in power. Their life is in danger. There is no doubt on this. And therefore, it's just not in but, Karnataka. But Mr. Across Alphonse, the country, this is happening. But Mr. Alphonse, this is where Mr. Alphonse, we have a strong hand. But Mr. Alphonse, I don't want to take it as a given. Come down and say. No, Mr. Alphonse, I don't want to take it as a given. I don't think... I want to accept saying this is the way it is in India today. And I'm sure you, having experienced an attack on your wife yourself, would also like to not like no, to believe that this has become part of our system. Because a colleague came on record after Mahantesh died and he said, if this is going to be the fate of honest no, officials, it will be difficult for us to work in this department. I agree with you completely, Pranab. We cannot let these kind of things happen. Honest officers must be protected. And people with responsibility must have the backbone to stand up and do their things. I mean, this is a terrible example for younger officers who come into the service and say, if we take action, if we, are, we follow the right way, we will be knocked out. Now, this is a completely wrong message. And therefore, we need a state across India which will really <coughs> take responsibility and say, whoever does a good job, he will be protected and whoever gets some will be nabbed. I think this has to be the message. I want a strong state where this kind of nonsense will not be allowed at all. Sir, I, 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 also, wa I also want, and every, every young Indian wants that kind of a state to emerge, but I'd like to place on record here, what happens in the reality to honest officials is very different. Because I am told that in the mid-1990s, Mahantesh was first posted in the Davangere area where his refusal to clear a few files resulted in a cooperative society supporters bashing him up and locking him in a room for two days. That's the price he paid at the start of his career. And at the end of his career, he has been killed. And, and that, that is the truth, Mr. Alphonse. And I'm sorry, but you're in the BJP. You can exert the pressure. Yeah, I mean. You can exert the pressure. You well, have moral I, authority I, on your I, party. I'm in the BJP. I, 
I, I spent 27 years. Well, I completely agree with you that we need a government which will not tolerate nonsense. Now, mind you, we have this kind of mafia right from the villages. Right from the villages to every city, to every state. We have this mafia. We got to fight it. I fought it for the past 27 years in the IAS. And Who'll I, I fight it, sir? Time. Unfortunately for Who'll me, fight it? Lucky, I won. Who'll fight I it? I have won. I think why does KJ Alphonse them, not fight it? And fight them, eventually we will win. Sir, and why, it's extremely unfortunate. So why does... Why don't, why don't you, why don't you put the pressure? You're in the BJP. You put the moral pressure and the moral pressure will be felt even by your chief minister in, Ker in Karnataka. But um, if you put party over anything else... I, I, will, certainly, I will certainly do that. I, 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 see, I, I, I will certainly do that. But across India, I really think we need better law, law enforcement. Across India, we need officers who should I, be able to I, implement the law and stand up and I, say, this is I'm, the law, we will implement it. I, I'm I think I'm Karnataka, coming to you. this is not an isolated case. It's happening across the country. That's why I'm we worried. We can excuse for Karnataka. No, this that's why I'm worried. All. We need a strong state which will say, this is nonsense. We want the rule of law. Well, we will protect officers. I think this so has that's a why, very clear message. So that, and that, I will definitely, I'm meeting the Chief Minister hopefully on 24th in Bombay at the National Executive. I, I shall tell him, I shall tell him that we need to take strong action. Yeah. On